Welcome again in our series of scripture readings. We, we are at Luke chapter 14, verses 12 through 14. Now, this is a story that is entitled, You Will Be Rewarded. Let's get right into this. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 12. He also said to the one who had invited him, When you make a dinner or supper, don't call your friends, nor your brothers, nor your kinsmen, nor your rich neighbors, nor rich neighbors, or perhaps they might also return the favor and pay you back. Now, let me just stop here for a second. This is the first sentence in our reading. The context is here now, if, if you were to look back again at verse 1, Jesus was at the house of one of the rulers of the Pharisees. Very interesting fact. Jesus was obviously invited and he obviously accepted an invitation to go to the ruler of the Pharisees' own home. We have time and time again where Jesus not only hung out with the Pharisees, but also went to their homes, went to their houses. So this is why a lot of people, or at least some people, believe that Jesus himself was a Pharisee. Why would Pharisees let, let, let like just let any Joe Blow enter their home? Pharisees were very strict, you know. Very, Pharisees were very strict. They were in their day and time considered to be one of the most holiest people uh, on earth. So they were very strict. They were known to memorize scripture. They were known to uh, uh, to really be one of the most devoted, uh, the most devoted of people to God. But Jesus hung out with the Pharisees. He went time and time again to Pharisees' house. So here in verse 12, we have in context, Jesus is at the ruler of the Pharisees' house. And uh, he, said to, he said to him, um, When you make a dinner or supper, don't call your friends, nor your brothers, nor your kinsmen, nor your neighbors, or perhaps they might return the favor and pay you back. So obviously here, the moral of the story here is Jesus don't want you to accept to expect a payback. He does not want you to look for any kind of payment in return. He wants you to do what you do without expecting any kind of payback, without expecting anything in return. Let's continue this reading. Verse 13. But when you make a feast, ask the poor, the maimed. The maimed in those days would have been those who would not be able to work and would not be able to earn a living. So they were very poor. The lame as well, the, or the blind as well. And you will be blessed because they don't have the resources to repay you. For you will be repaid in the resurrection of the righteous. Now, I want you to understand that there is a day coming that is a day when the right, when the righteous will be resurrected. Okay? The righteous are those who do the will of God, who actually hear the word, hear the guidelines, instructions, laws, commands of the Lord, and tremble at his word, as it says that God wants us to tremble at his word. He doesn't want us to treat his word with, you know, contempt. He wants us to tremble at his word, to take him very seriously, to fear God. There is a day coming when the righteous, those who tremble at his word, those who do the will of God, those who read the scriptures and do their utmost best to fulfill the commands and laws that they read about. There's a day when the righteous will be raised from the dead. The resurrection of the righteous. And that is when Jesus says, you will be repaid. Now this goes all the way back to, like way back in the, in, in, in the ancient scriptures, far before the time of Jesus himself. We got all the way back even to the book of Enoch and, you know, even around the times of the first of the um, the oldest books of the so-called Old Testament and other so-called apocryphal books that uh, that talk about the resurrection of the righteous. And this is what Jesus is referring to. He didn't make this up on his own. He knew the scriptures. 
So when you do all your good works, when you do whatever you do, you know, don't do it for yourself, don't do it to be repaid, but do it to those who are in needy, you know, be good to those who need your help, you know, uh, and God will repay you at the resurrection of the righteous. So the implication here that Jesus is, is making is that it's much better you will, you will be repaid better by God in the resurrection of the righteous than you would uh, as opposed to being repaid by men in the here and now. So go your way and never forget, treat the poor and those who are less fortunate with much, much love and care. Give them what you can give them. Be good to the poor. Give alms. And God, I mean, pray that God does notice it. And as in the book of Acts, it says to Cornelius that his almsgiving is kind of like the, the thing, it was kind of like the, the spearhead that broke through the wall, so to speak, or broke through the barrier that got through to God for him. And it says his prayers were heard and his prayers came up as a memorial before God because of his almsgiving. By the way, that is also a precept and a principle that's taught in the Apocrypha. We're going to get to that as well. You're going to learn lots of things, so stick with me. And it is going to be great. It's going to be fun. You're going to be just pretty much jumping in your seat uh, because a lot of the stuff we're going to be getting into here is just absolutely awesome. So stay tuned. And as you think and meditate upon God's Word, may God bless you with great revelation and give you the, the unction and the ability to do what he says you should do. In the name of Yeshua, thanks again.